Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you all what we're doing. We're doing that hot and fast brisket uh, on the pit boss lock heart. Uh, welcome to the channel. If you have not liked or subscribe, hit the little buttons down below. You know where they're at. All right. So I went ahead and I purchased, uh, purchased a brisket for lock heart. I've got a 12 pounder. I'm going to show you. I'm running mesquite pellets, put 20 pounds in there, emptied out the old ones, put a water pan, put my probes in, trimmed it up, put my rub on it. I'm going to show you what we're set at. So. 350, the actual temperature is 350, and that's because I opened the lid right now. Got my little water pan here, just got water in it. Got the brisket on there, you see where the probes are at. Uh, two hours from now, we will pull it off, we'll wrap it and all that stuff, so I'll show you all that, so keep tuned. All right guys, two hours in, we are getting ready to wrap it. I'm gonna show you what it, uh, it looks like. It is crusted, uh, everything's good. So, you can see that I got the beef consomme in there. All it is is this Campbell's beef consomme. Uh, this, all this is at 165. So we're gonna wrap it, sit it back in here. It's gonna be good to go. All the fat and everything is gonna melt down, go through it, It'll be great. Uh, so aluminum foil, big pan, brisket, we'll stick it back in here. Uh, the bottom is holding temperature good, so they have no complaints. So take it easy. Hey guys, we are back. Uh, pulled off this. This is, I'm going to show you the temperature. It's our hot and fast. Ooh, it's already beeping at us. So we're going to pull it there. I pulled her off uh, roughly about 205. It's came down to about 180. But I'm going to turn that off. I mean, you guys see no resistance. Okay. So this juice, that's called the au jus. I'm gonna put that, this little baby, and then I'm gonna slice this. So I'm gonna take pictures and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So get this bad boy out here. Ooh, drain, drain, drain. She's still hot, but she's good to a touch. Okay, so if you look down, you can see that the meat's running this way. We're gonna cut this way, just like that. Is still extremely hot to the touch gas. Bark is still good. I'm not getting any on my hand. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. That's hot and fast. That was four hours on the dot with 45 minute rest time, guys. She's limp. Pull test is good. So, enjoy. All right, guys. I went ahead and served the brisket. It is gone. Uh, did that 12-pounder. It shrank maybe a little bit, but not by much. Uh, au jus turned out really good. Uh, everything was great. Had a lot of, uh, of great feedback from the family. Uh, this was our quick test run. We were getting ready to enter a barbecue competition and since we got the new Lockhart We wanted to see if it was possible instead of having to stay up all night like all these other competitors are going to be using the stick burner out there um, We're going to be the only pellet grill there that we know of so far and we wanted to see if we can do it in four hours I mean six hours is still good. We could have done it in six got a deeper smoke ring a lot more smoke flavor uh, so we're going to toy with it the next couple times, see what we can do. Uh, we're going to be at German Fest uh, last weekend of April, last full weekend of April. Uh, that's in Munster, Texas. So y'all come out and join us. Uh, enjoy the festival. Enjoy the good food. Uh, come out and check out the uh, barbecue competition. Uh, come out and see old crazy. Uh, should have some hats and koozies by that time. So y'all come down to the tent and we'll set you guys up at a at least a koozie at least i mean hat i don't know i mean you gotta be one of my top fans uh i will be uh taking some questions you guys have been doing good on asking me how's this how's this how's this I, i'll let you know that bottom it works fantastic the only little problem i had uh was with the sear plate popping it open and getting it open i had a uh 
you know scrub a little bit uh, so I know any food particles that get on it or anything that gets in between the sear plate and the main plate it's kind of a little pain in the butt uh, to do so I pulled it off re oiled it real quick I uh, put some uh, olive oil on it I'm hoping that'll help it a lot better but everything else worked good I didn't have any issues the temperature stayed great I put it at 350 I come back it was working great uh, somebody asked if you open I know that I mentioned somebody asked if you open that sear plate will the smoke be better uh, I do want to mention I tested before I brought it up to temperature I put it on that smoke setting I've, there's a five you can go in there and you put it down it'll say five or you can put it at like 180 200 you put it at 200 the top will be at like one Ooh. I'll have to edit that piece out because that was very nasty. Uh, I really do apologize for that. Um, but you put that bottom at about 200 and you open just the top. And good Lord, the smoke up top. I mean, it filled that box more than I thought it would. And uh, another thing is that little bottom plate that goes in the bottom down there. Uh, I put a drip pan. Uh, I like the drip pan that they got but it seems like you get more airflow if you don't have that piece that they provide with it now i mean it would be good if you're doing like a you know a couple of things of sausage or something but i put a big aluminum pan down the bottom and let it just sit there and it smoked up really well so i think that one with just a little small air configurations i'll go over what i found out and what i've tweaked and all that good stuff uh but i want to thank you viewers uh keep liking and subscribing uh, we are going to be doing in five more cooks. That's right, five more cooks. We're going to be giving away the Oklahoma Joe knife set. So, the more people I can get, the more we can do this stuff. So, with that Oklahoma knife set, I'm going to just pick a random comment. Everybody's going to comment on that video. Tag your friends, tag everybody you can. Uh, for a chance to win a three-piece Oklahoma knife set. Uh, comes with a brisket sauce knife, a steak knife, and a uh, fork knife. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, I'm going to show you all the new little gadgets and get it up so that I'm going to be adding, uh, as well as when we get more cameras and stuff like that. So we're going to get different views. Uh, I'm going to take you all to the restaurant store that I uh, purchased most of my restaurant stuff from. Uh, like my cutting boards and uh, all my bigger utensils uh, I found that it's actually pretty cheap if you got one in your area uh, if you got any questions you got anything you want to know about this four hour cook now that's not including rest time that is just cook time four hours five hours max but cook time is four so it I started 11 35 I pulled it off at like 3 30 and that I think uh, I left it in the barbecue pit for another 20, 30 minutes sitting there. And then I brought it inside and let it sit for another 10. And then I sliced it up, but everything worked good. I had no issues. Uh, everything was fabulous. Uh, so catch y'all next time.